Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a video on GNU Radio tutorial. I haven't made a video for a while and this is going to be one of those basic videos where I'll be explaining a block or a box uh, that is available in GNU Radio and which is a very important block and that block is known as low pass filter and we're going to use this low pass filter for SDR based audio demodulation process. Sometimes when you're using when you're modulating your signal and when you send the signal you want to demodulate that and there's an audio there you got to have some type of filtering that is involved and we're going to look at those basic uh, things um, which is required uh, which is there in a low pass filter block that is available in GNU radio so basically we're going to look at all of those terms uh, one by one so for example right now i have a signal source that is generating a signal uh, that has a frequency that is going from 1k to 100 uh, 1k to sorry 1k uh, from 100 to 22k and with a step size of 100 hertz so this is being controlled by this uh, frequency slider uh, which is called freak and this is right here here in your signal property block uh, next thing we're generating a cosine source uh, why am i using a sam source uh, sam rate of 40k 48k because uh, generally the audio signals they are sampled at somewhere around 48 kilohertz this is a generalized a universal term for audio sampling so that's why i'm keeping the flow graph with the same sam rate which is 48k next thing uh, that is there we're just visualizing the signal in a frequency graph as well. We're just looking at the signal in our GUI frequency sync. And then the same signal is going into my low pass filter block that is available in GNU radio. So just simply command F. You can type in low pass filter and you can use this low pass filter which is there. So once you have your low pass filter block, let's leave the decimation filter, decimation one, gain one. So I don't want any type of a gain that's what these values are for so I just want and I don't want to decimate the signals so whatever the signal is coming in just simply multiply it so for example if you're interpolating it you can just multiply it, it will amplify your signal when you're decimating it it will decrease your signal we're not playing around with these two values we're going to leaving this these two values as is sample rate throughout the flow graph we're keeping the same sample rate which is 48 kilohertz that's why you have 48 kilohertz now there are three two things which are important which is cut off frequency and transition when bandwidth and both of these as you can see they are being controlled anything that is underlined in GNU radio can be controlled using an outside uh, like for example GUI range slider you can have a chooser button and anything like that so these cut off frequency and transition width they are being controlled by these two sliders so let's just quickly look at the transition cut off frequency Cut off frequency, which is this, that has a default frequency of 10 kilohertz and it's going from 100 to 24 kilohertz. All right, so this is a starting frequency and this is a stopping frequency and default frequency of 10 kilohertz. Now, what this cut off frequency basically means that if you have a cut off frequency, let's take an example of 10 kilohertz, anything above 10 kilohertz, this low pass filter will actually uh, not part not pass these frequency anything that is above 10 kilohertz which means anything that is less than 10 kilohertz you will be able to hear it you will be able to pass it anything above than 10 kilohertz anything above than 10 kilohertz it will filter it out it will just filter it it will just decimate it that's what this cutoff frequency is all about so cutoff frequency basically mean anything that is your cutoff frequency anything below that since it's a low pass filter anything below that it will pass and if it's a high pass filter anything above than that it will pass anything below than that it will actually decimate or it will decay or it will attenuate that's what this particular uh, term means when you think of cutoff frequency now the next thing that you need to see is actually your transition bandwidth transition bandwidth is the default frequency is one uh, the default value is one 1000 starting from 500 and going all the way up to 10,000 basically this transition bandwidth is when you look at filter 
how quickly the response is, how it's going to transition from a passing these frequency to not passing this frequency. The smaller this value is going to be, the mathematically or the high computation power it needs. So, so it's going if it's a very steep transition bandwidth, then it will have a box shape. I made a video on it. You can also look at it, all the technical details. So uh, the bigger this value is going to be, the transition is going to be much slower. The smaller this value is going to be, the transition is going to be much faster. And having a lower transition bandwidth, that means it requires a lot of computational power. But in our case, it's just a simulation. So after that, so these two are the important terms Then you're looking at the signal after it has been passed through low pass filter. You're looking at it in your time sync, you're also hearing it as well. And then you're also visualizing that on your frequency sync. So let's just quickly run this flow graph. You'll be able to hear something. All right. Let me just... So let me just simply run this flow graph and you will be able to hear the, this tone. So right now it's passing a frequency because I have a cutoff frequency of 10 kilohertz. So it will pass all the frequency. Let's just quickly change the signal frequency to anything above than this. And you won't be able to hear anything. Why? Because the trans now the signal is much higher than your cutoff frequency. Now I can increase this cutoff frequency and then you will be able to hear your signal again. This is what cutoff frequency is doing. Let me just lower this frequency down and change my cutoff frequency to something else. All right. So my cutoff frequency is seven, let's say seven two four zero. Anything below it will pass. Anything above it will not pass. And you will see that there is properly filtering it out and you won't be able to hear the tone clearly. Transition bandwidth, you can change this transition bandwidth to 500 if you want. Now this is much smoother as compared to 1000. So this is the basic idea uh, behind these filtering. Now you should be able to hear it as you can hear it. Now you won't be able to hear it or you'll be able to hear a little bit because it's just now you won't be able to hear anything. Now the filter is working properly. So this is one of the very important filtering process and low pass filter is quietly used when it comes to software defined radio application and when you try to demodulate your signal and things like that. So I hope you find this tutorial to be helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.